Do you want to buy a property in Summit County and use it as an Airbnb? Well, keep watching because this video is for you. In today's video, I'm breaking down all of the new short-term rental regulations in the county into the smallest nutshell to simplify it for you. If you want to know what areas are the easiest to buy a property and then use it as an Airbnb, make sure you watch to the end because today I'm going to tell you. If you want to buy a property in Summit County and use it as an Airbnb, you'll need a short-term rental license for any rental that's 30 days or less. Now, with all the new regulations, there are many areas now within Summit County where you cannot currently get a license. So that's why I'm here today to help you so that you know where to look for a home to buy if this is something that you want to do. Each town within Summit County has their own short-term rental regulations. The town of Breckenridge, Frisco, Silverthorne, etc. If a property is not within the boundaries of a town, then it's considered to be unincorporated Summit County, which also has their own regulations. A little confusing, right? Now, many of the towns recently put caps on the number of short-term rental licenses that they'll issue. So it's important to know that short-term rental licenses do not transfer with the sale of a property. If a property is in an area that exceeds the cap limit, then no short-term rental licenses will be issued until the number is reduced to below that cap limit through attrition. And therefore, you need to be on a wait list until that happens. So first, let's start with each of the towns. The town of Breckenridge has four zones, a resort zone, and then zones one, two, and three. The resort zone has no cap on licenses and therefore no wait list. These are properties like Beaver Run Resort, Main Street Station, Grand Colorado, etc. Short-term rental licenses are available for the Breckenridge Resort Zone. For Zone 1, there's currently no wait list, and as of January 2023, there's 418 available licenses, and you can apply for a license online. For Zones 2 and Zones 3, the number of licenses have exceeded the cap, and there are wait lists. Zone two is currently fairly short. This zone allows 130 licenses, and there's currently 140, with a wait list of about 10. Zone three has a long wait list. Currently, this zone is way over their cap by about 800 licenses, so it will be a long time until new licenses are issued in this zone. The town of Frisco just reached its short-term rental license cap, so as of February 23rd, if you want to do a short-term rental license in Frisco, you'll need to get on their wait list. And a wait list application can be submitted on the town of Frisco's website. The town of Silverthorne has recently issued caps for their short-term rental licenses, and they divided the town into three areas. As of right now, the number of licenses are all below the cap limits. So if you want to do a short-term rental in the town of Silverthorne, you can simply apply with no wait list. The only exception is the deed restricted area of Smith Ranch where no short term rentals are allowed. The town of Dillon has no caps and short term rentals are allowed and a license can be applied online on their town website. The town of Blue River also allows short term rentals and applications can be submitted on their town website. Now here's where it gets complicated and I'll try to simplify it as much as I can. As I mentioned, if a property is not in a town, then it's in unincorporated Summit County. There's two types of licenses, type one and type two. Type one is for people whose home here is their primary residence and they live here nine months of the year. Type two is essentially everyone else and it's for those whose property is not their primary residence. It's a second home or an investment property and you don't live here full time. Currently, you can apply for a type one license if you meet all the qualifying requirements. You'll want to check on the Summit County website for all the criteria to see if you qualify. If your type one license is accepted, then you're allowed 35 bookings a year. Type two licenses are not being issued and no one can apply right now and there's not even a waiting list. Now the county has been divided into four areas and issued caps for each area. Currently, you cannot apply for a type two license in any of the areas if the home is not your primary residence. 
the soonest one could possibly be able to apply for a Type 2 license would be spring of 2024, and that's only if an area gets within 10% of the area's cap. When Type 2 licenses are issued again, they are only allowed to have 35 bookings a year. Now, there are also resort zones within unincorporated Summit County. These resort areas are Copper Mountain, Keystone, Tiger Run Resort, Ski Watch, and Four O'Clock Subdivision in Peak 8 in Breckenridge. Now, there are no caps and no wait lists, and anyone can apply for a short-term rental license in these resort areas. So, all that said, if you want to buy a property and use it as an Airbnb, the easiest areas to do this in without any restrictions are the resort areas in Breckenridge and the resort areas in unincorporated Summit County, like Copper, Keystone, Tiger Run, and Peak 8 areas. Also, look for properties in Dillon and Blue River. The other areas to consider are Zone 1 in Breckenridge, Town of Silverthorne, except Smith Ranch. Now, this is a very simplified overview to make this easier to understand. So for all the fine print and further details, you'll want to go to each town's website and call the town to clarify any questions you may have. I have maps of all these areas that I can share with you and I can make it even easier for you and I can send you properties that are only in the areas that allow short-term rentals with no waiting lists. Just give me a call or email me and let's connect. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you again in my next video.